What's up, everyone? Welcome back to FamCast. We're at episode 24 this week, and it's me and Zach today. And we're, uh, we actually didn't know what we were going to talk about until earlier today. Uh, it actually, the topic kind of just um, threw itself at us. Mm-hmm. Um, there's been a lot of controversy with um, EA's, um, the, the way they're handling uh, paid transactions or microtransactions in Battlefront 2. And they they actually became the most downvoted comment on Reddit today, uh, when they tried to uh, kind of rebuttal against you know why why someone was upset about you know paying for this digital edition but they still have to you know pay in game currency quite a bit of in game currency to lock some of Star Wars most iconic characters like Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader. Um, so we're we're gonna dive right into that. Um, they they've already come forward and uh, kind of changed a few things, but we're going to kind of take it from, from point A and kind of walk all the way through it together. Um, so Zach, I I know you said you're, I think you're about as well versed as I am. I don't know all the details, but I'll I'll go and let you kind of kick things off and and we'll kind of go from there. As a disclaimer, this podcast was recorded before EA announced right before the launch of Battlefront 2 that they were taking out their in-game purchases with real money until a later date. Oh, you're putting me on the spot. All right. So it's my understanding that it was not it was kind of a long series of events or uh, not a long series but a series of events and i think what kicked it off if i read correctly or one one of the big outrageous things is people were complaining about it on twitter and the ea community manager basically called everyone some names i can't remember what he said and that's terrible and i can't freaking remember uh, An armchair developer. Armchair developer. That's right. I knew it was something like armchair. Cor- okay. Uh, he called them all a bunch of armchair developers. And then I'm not actually 100% sure on the series of events after that, but at some point, was it the president of EA? Or the, the director or someone made a post on Reddit, and then it became the most downvoted, which I didn't know it was the most downvoted. Last time I checked, it was the fifth most downvoted in Reddit history. Oh, um, oh it has uh, it has climbed quite a bit. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then um, there's been a lot of outrage all over the internet, and I think one of the things that bugged me about it, oh God, there's so many things that bug me about it because it just seems like, God, I'm all over the place right now because I want to start on so many different things. So to finish off, um, uh, one of the other outrage things, uh, outrageous things that people were upset about, I, uh, is my understanding, is that in some of the review copies, um, the ability to unlock like Darth Vader and all the Luke Skywalker, the different heroes, was significantly cheaper in the review copies also. Um, and then the new, the, they, they showed the new numbers and yeah, they were through the roof. Um, Interesting. Okay. Yeah, that's something else I read online. I read, I saw that on Twitter. So it's probably true. <laughs> right, right. Um, but, you know, it's just as true as anything else on the internet. Um, I just, I think EA is just trying to push the envelope of how much money it can get. It seems like every new title that comes out right now has one of these, like, well, you can unlock everything in the game, but you can unlock everything faster if you just pay $10 and get our in-game premium currency, and then you don't have to spend all that time doing that stuff. You can just enjoy the game, which just sure. is so f- so counterintuitive. I'm trying not to cuss. So counterintuitive to me, um, just because you want people to enjoy the game from the get-go. And don't get me wrong, I am totally fine with unlockables. Mm-hmm. I love unlockables in games. It gives you something to strive for. It gives you a progression. Um and it gives you reason to play for a longer period of time, or at least me. Like, if a game is just like, here's what you get, there's nothing to unlock, I'll play it for, you know, a day or two, and then usually get rid of it, unless it's got a story or something like that. Right. Um, but this is just, it's a madness. Because, what, what, what was it? Um, like, Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader were 60,000? I don't know what the, what, what is the in-game right. currency called? I don't uh, know. 60,000 60, credits, I believe. Credits, okay. And then, in order to unlock them, that's like 40 hours of playtime. Right. I mean... And that's each. That's not, like, to get them both. That's for yeah. one character. One of the one of these iconic characters, you have to play 40 hours of... 
And this is just estimated. It could be more, could be a little bit less. Yeah, this is, I mean, that's like, I think that's based on like an average player. So like, if you're not as good as an average player, which I would say, well, I guess if they're an average player, that means at least 50% of people are that good or something like that, or larger than 50%, because that's, anyway, um, not important. The point is, like, that's one character, and they're, like, they're relatively a massive part of the franchise anyway. And part of the reason you buy these games is to play as the heroes. It's not to play as a droid. No one gives a rat's ass about playing as a droid or a, a story. Right. Server. Like, they want to be Darth, uh, Darth Vader or um, Darth Maul or Luke Skywalker or uh, Boba Fett or any one of the other um, playable characters in there. Right, and it's just it just seems like madness that we're even going through this. That it that it costs that much. Like, because don't get me wrong, like Call of Duty, you have to unlock skins for guns and stuff like, and you can get a golden gun, and you can I mean, in order to get a golden gun in Modern Warfare Two, I think you had to unlock all the other um, skins for that gun or camos for the gun, um, or something along those lines. I can't remember exactly, but you get the point. Sure, but you still got to use yeah. the gun. You still got to use the gun. And yeah, it took you a bunch of time, but that was for like the hardcore player. Like something that should be part of the main game should not have to be only unlockable by the hardcore player. You know what I mean? No, I agree. And I I think that's kind of, I think that's my biggest gripe is like you said, that the heroes are such a, a core feature of the game. It seems, I don't know. I don't know what word I want to use. I don't want to say cruel, but it's, it's a little outrageous that they would they would charge that much. Now, granted, that's you know something that you can do without any money, um, but forty hours of gameplay seems very excessive for just one hero. And I and this is something that I, I wasn't aware of originally. I thought it was all the heroes you had to buy. So I was like, what the fuck? Like that th- that sounds insane. So that it was a little bit better hearing that you know some of them you unlock right from the start. You don't yeah. have to um, purchase them all. Um, but but still, even, even with that being said, 40 hours is a bit excessive. Most people um, don't have that kind of grind time for one person, right. for one hero. Like, man, and you, you have to be pretty confident in your game that someone's going to spend 40 hours of multiplayer time yeah. just to... Because like you said, you, you want that. You want unlockables because it adds to that replayability. It, it makes you feel accomplished when you unlock something that you've worked so hard for. Yeah. But there's a healthy balance to that. And you have to make sure that the the reward is kind of on par with the the work that you're putting in. A hundred percent. Well, and you know, you mentioned that you have to be confident in your game, or you have to be confident in the franchise that your game is built on, and the yeah, that's true. The fanfare of the base, uh, like the people that the the of the the, the, the the like the game. That's a lot of those. Um, <laughs> but and so, I mean, blatantly, it is a, a cash grab. That's all it is. Yeah. Um, and we're seeing it more and more. You know, we've talked about DLC in a previous podcast. But you see games like um, Call, even the last Call of Duty, um, Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare, whatever it was. They had the loot boxes that you could buy. And I, they have loot boxes in this one. Although I've, I'm not sure if you can buy the in-game currency to get them. I think you can only get those from fulfilling certain missions but not the point the point is gears of war 3 um for honor um overwatch overwatch thank you um Uh, heroes of the storm heroes of the storm everyone's doing these loot boxes now right and that's great for cosmetic items i'm fine with cosmetic items and even then like someone like heroes of the storm give you a way to still unlock those cosmetic items by playing the game, and you, you know it is a grind, but you don't need yeah. any of those items by any chance, uh, or by it just by makes any stretch the imagination. It makes your character look cooler. You get different yeah. voice lines yep. and announcers. Yep. There's nothing that affects the actual gameplay. Exactly. Um, but then now, you've I, got this game where it's like, hey, these are major parts of the game that are playable, and they're not just skins. They are abilities and skills, quote unquote, wrapped up into a character. It's just a little right. excessive. I agree, and I, I want to take it back just a little bit here. Something Sorry. you mentioned earlier. No, 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 you're fine. Um, I just wanted to touch on this. Um, so you you mentioned that this kind of started, and I, I'm not sure of the timeline either. Um, but 
someone from the I think it was the EA community manager yeah um, called the the people complaining armchair developers mm. um, and I don't know if you you might be able to maybe describe that a little bit better because um, I, I mentioned I brought this up to a few people and uh, like when I mentioned armchair developer I including myself I feel like I don't have like a good description for what how would you explain that to someone you mean the the insult itself yes yes oh okay yeah absolutely um so armchair developer is very much a play on the phrase armchair quarterback. And the idea is that... Ah, you're that's s- why I don't understand it. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a simple term. So armchair quarterback comes from the idea that if you've ever been to a sporting event uh, uh, at someone's house, that someone's really into it, they're going to sit there and they're going to yell at the TV about the plays that were made, um, about the defense, about the refs and the calls ah. they make. And how okay. everything they've done is wrong, essentially. And how they, someone who has never played football past high school, most likely, know better than the coaches and these professionals. And so, wow. so to flip it, <laughs> um, it's like me, who has never been in the industry, in a, right. in a gaming and building games and stuff like that. And I don't know the market. I don't know advertising. I don't know any of that shit. All I know is video games and how to play them. But I don't understand the business side of it, or at least I don't have a a working understanding of experience. Uh, And I'm like sitting there and, you know, complaining at EA because their business practices, I'm saying their business practices are all wrong. And that's not how you advertise something. That's not how you market something. And so it's the idea of you guys are just a bunch of, it's kind of like calling someone an idiot, really. Like, you don't know anything. Yeah. You're just a guy that's full of himself and is kind of full of shit. I could do this better than you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's... Wow. Well, now that I've got a... Now that I kind of understand it a little bit better, it... Ah, uh, that's... That's pretty bad. A second... <laughs> that... A community... Dude, that blows me away when I see A community, community manager. manager. Exactly. A community manager. You had one job. You had one right, job. exactly. Manage the goddamn community. And what did you do? You handed them their torches and pitchforks. Like, I don't know. Like, that guy, I would guess, is probably going to get fired. Like, I can't imagine he wouldn't. Because that is really dropping the ball there. Um, so, uh, I don't even know, man. Like, especially with the internet. You say something like that to the internet, and all you're doing is lighting a fire that oh, yeah. you can't put out, you can't control. And they are, I mean the community was already pretty up in arms over some of this stuff. And then, you yeah, know, ever since the beta. that exactly ever since the beta and even then in the beta, a lot of the values for unlocking characters were lower. Um, mm-hmm. and they said, what was it? I'm going to kill myself here, but not, not, I'm oh, sorry. I'm going to be mad at myself here. Um, the EA community team uh, said, uh, as for cost, we selected niche values based upon data, from the open beta and other adjustments made to milestones rewards before launch. Among other things, we're looking at average per player credit earn rates on a daily basis, and we'll be making constant adjustments to ensure the players have challenges that are compelling, rewarding, and, of course, attainable via gameplay. And that was before they actually dropped the prices, sure. which I guess yep. is we're getting ahead of ourselves there a little bit there. But they're saying that that was that that value for Luke and Darth Vader, which are the two. I, I'm assuming they're the two most expensive characters because they're the two so. most iconic. But still, um, that's they said they're we're looking at average per player credit earn. I can't, I can't imagine that people are earning that much credit. And also, I feel like a beta is a bad test sample because who plays betas? Guys like you and me, people that are very into gaming. They're the kind of guys that look at their calendar and they're like, oh, there's a new beta coming out this week and I'm going to mark my calendar off and cancel all my appointments. Not exactly. Right. That's a gross um, mischaracterization. But you get the point. They're, they're usually the more hardcore fans. And so they're going to be playing more during that beta weekend because you only have three days to play or whatever right. it is for it, um, which they extended this past one too. So... I can't remember what I was going with this <laughs> because I got too into my um, yeah, yeah. my nerdy beta player impression. The point is, is all of their excuses have been blatant lies that are easy to see through, basically, in my opinion. 
Um, they've just been like, I, I don't know if they think they're talking to stupid people or like they think we're all five year olds and we'll just be like, oh, okay, sure, whatever you say, guys. But right. yeah, it's just ridiculous. But one thing I am happy about is that with all this bad publicity, and I hope I'm not jumping ahead too much, they actually changed the values for which you pay for uh, all the characters, right? Right. And you did, so, you, did you say it was 75%? Yeah, they did a, a 75% uh, price cut. So now Luke and Vader are 15000 See, which is that is... significantly lower. And yes. 10 hours of gameplay seems definitely a, a reasonable amount for a, a high-quality character. That is just... It's, it's still like a, it's a, a decent amount of time. Yeah. It's a way to unlock it in. So, uh, again, I don't want to jump ahead too far. I, I do want to say something real quick on the, uh, on the Reddit... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, absolutely. No, no, you're fine. Because um, it, it, it's all related. Because yeah. um, I, I just checked. So as of, let's see, 9.30 on Tuesday the 13th, mm-hmm. um, they have over <laughs> over half a million downvotes with their comment on Reddit. Which That's is more by, than like 200,000 downvotes more than the second one, right? Yeah. Yeah, they've like, they didn't just beat the record. They I mean, they destroyed it. You know, I mean, EA, EA has always been kind of a bad guy in the industry. And They've won know, worst company uh, like two years in a row now. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think it was like 2013, 2014 or something like that. Um, I'm surprised I remember that. I probably sh- I probably read that somewhere in the past day, and that's why that ticked. But um, they've always been kind of a bad guy. And, I mean, to some degree, it's probably because of their success because they are a massive company. And you always kind of do hate the big bad guy or the big guys. But at the same oh, sure. time, they just have the shittiest practices. It's like, um, what is their service origin? Yeah. Like, they refuse to get on board with Steam. you got to go through their own online system for any of the Mass Effect games, I'm pretty sure. Right. Um, which is a huge pain in the butt. Like, And then to... Uh, I don't even want to... Uh, they, they always have some kind of debacle with DLC. Like, DLC is always a big thing. Um, they're they're the ones that always do the they're the ones that always do these digital copies these digital deluxe copies for yeah. like eighty or a hundred dollars. Um, yes, yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, I mean, I I personally bought the digital deluxe for Battlefront because I I want you know as much Star Wars content as I can. I'm a big Star Wars fan. I enjoyed what I played at the beta, so yeah, I'll I'll, I'll get the digital deluxe. So you know, twenty bucks more, I get to play the game three days early and. I don't even know what it comes with. I, I'll be honest. I didn't even look. I just, <laughs> I, I just know it comes with its stuff, and I get to play the game early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's that's really all that matters to me. Um, but that that's kind of where the um, the comment spawned from. So if I pull up the comment again, um, his his tagline was seriously. I paid eighty dollars to have Vader locked, um, and then verbatim, this is a joke. I'll be contacting EA support for a refund. I can't. Even uh, or I can't even plain fucking Darth Vader. Disgusting. This age of microtransactions has gone way too far. Leave it to EA though to stretch the boundaries. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I I will definitely say that EA has been quite, especially in the the past couple months here. Um, they've they've kind of been the bad guy because not only um, do they have this this whole debacle with the the loot crates and the microtransactions, but also uh, with Visceral. Um, you know, they, yeah, they, shut, they down shut down Vis- they bought them and shut them down, man. Yeah. And then they, they just acquired uh, respawn. Um, oh, it, uh, Titanfall. They right? either, right. Yeah. They either acquired respawn or they acquired just Titanfall or something along those lines. They, they bought the studio. They bought respawn studio. It's not okay. They did. Okay. Titanfall. I'm fairly certain. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So I'm not too crazy there. Um, but yeah, I mean, as soon as I saw that happen, I went on Reddit and there's already all, are these memes made about you know how EA is going to shut them down in a couple months. So. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean that that's kind of bad that you earn that kind of reputation, you know. Yep. I'm, I was trying to think of because you know we're talking about EA games, and so I was trying to think of games that they've put out where they've had like terrible, terrible records with the uh, um, DLC and such, and. Um, it's not so much DLC, but, you know, even the Plants vs. Zombies games, uh, the second one on iPhone, like, in order to get anywhere with the game, you had to pay a bunch of money to unlock, like, the good plants. 
or right. buy them off the store. There was no way to earn them other than that. Yeah. There was the Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, which had the packs that you had to buy, and the second oh, yeah. one was even more under that. And then you've got all the sports games, which, let's face it, is rinse and repeat every year. You change some likenesses, and you change some outfits, and then you've got a new game, maybe up the graphics a little bit. Um, I mean... But then you've got games like... See, this is where I'm, I'm... I'm just blown away by EA, because you have games like that, where people complain about them, and rightfully so. But then you guys have games like um, Battlefield 4. It's a great game. Uh, Mass, the Mass Effect series. Fantastic yeah. series. Dragon Age series, other than the second one, is a great series. <laughs> um, the Sims. Uh, actually, I can't, I can't speak to The Sims. I've never played The Sims in my mm. life. But yeah, I just... Of course, you have some games on here that I'm looking at this list, like Dead Space, which EA actually didn't have dick to do with Dead Space. Really, did it? Um, Was Visceral Games part of EA when they made De- Dead Space? They may have been. I may be yeah, wrong. I, I may so. be wrong about. I think I'm wrong about that because Dead Space is one of, like my all time favorite series, um, except for the third one. But a yeah, quick Google search here. Sorry, I'm Google like searching theory. while we're. Uh, it was okay. I I I don't know. I missed the second one, or the first one, and the second one's so scary, man. Um, the oh point, yeah, it was published by EA. The point being though is like they're such a big company, and they have so many great games, and so. You want to hate them, but at the same time, they have so all these great games. Actually, I don't have a point here, other than the fact I'm a little confused why I both hate and love EA. <laughs> because they do, like, a Dragon Age Inquisition is one of my absolute favorite games. But it's put out by EA. And Bio... Do, wait, does EA own Bioware? Ye- yes. Uh, that sounds about right to me. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm presenting all these questions that I should have looked up. No, no, you're fine. There's going to be some typing on the podcast. I'm sorry. You're fine. Does EA, um, on October 11, 2007, that, that this... Oh, it's a partnership. Oh, wait. Yes and no, it looks like. It looks like it's some kind of partnership, but yeah. I don't know. It okay. seems like anything Bioware does, like the Mass Effect games... Or Dragon Age is really good, but anything that's just EA is dog crap. I don't know. Um, I think EA was is just so big, they thought they would stretch the limits, and they thought they would get away with it, which blows me away. That they thought anyone would just be like, oh, this is going to take just me 40 okay hours to, to beat this guy. Sure, sure, absolutely, absolutely. And I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it become if it comes from that. Uh, like you mentioned, the confidence in the franchise. If they're just like, oh, it's Star Wars. Like, yeah. pe- people are people are going to spend money. They're not going to just not buy the game. Yeah. Um, but there's a lot of people, and I, I think this is where it kind of comes down to consumer uh, responsibility too. Um, kind of the the whole free market vibe. If you don't like it, don't buy it. Oh, a hundred percent. Like I get um, that it's Star Wars, and I'm not buying it. I well, I don't plan on buying it. I should say that. Although you guys are all buying it, and so that kind of makes me want to buy it. But I'm not buying it because of crap like this. Because I bought the first one, and I didn't feel it was a great game. And then I was kind of considering buying this this Friday. And then all this crap has come out about it, and so I just don't know, man. Yeah. I, I, sorry, no, I, I totally interrupted you, but I interrupted you to tell you you're right. No, no, I, I, I get it. I, um, I just think, and there's a lot of people on Reddit saying the same thing, like if... Yeah. You know, there's like all these boycotts starting. Like, don't no one buy this game from EA, mm-hmm. in which I get it. Like, if if you're that unhappy with it, don't buy it. I mean, the the biggest, uh, that's the the easiest way to to get a hold of their attention is by them not getting the sales that they anticipated. Right. Because you know that they're gonna they're gonna pay attention to the number of canceled pre orders and and all that. Oh, I and mean, they, I imagine that's well, uh, there was a thread on Reddit that would, literally the thread title was. Use this link to cancel your EA or your pre-order of Battlefront Two. Wow. Yeah, and so like I, it was just a it was a massive thread of just people going, I I got my money back. Right. <laughs> I, I I think there's going to be a, I think they're definitely going to see that they're definitely going to take the hit from that. Yeah. But also, think about the downvotes on that Reddit post. So there's half a million people that downvoted that post. Think about how many more aren't on Reddit. Or how many more are on Reddit and just didn't like vote on it? They just read it. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? Like there's there's so many other people that other than just those it's not just five million customers that they pissed off. There's a lot more. Um, oh, hundred percent. So I, I I have to give them credit um, that they they listened, but I feel like they didn't really. We kind of like forced their hand. You know what I mean? Yeah, I have a great like analogy for it, but I'm not going to use it because it's wrong. But you're hundred okay. percent right. Uh, they got caught with their hand in the the cookie jar. Yeah. And now they're like, you know what, guys, you're right. We're gonna we're gonna pull things back, and we've had a chance. I mean, they haven't said those things, but I don't know. It's like doing the right thing when you're caught doing the wrong thing. It's good that you're doing the right thing. Don't get me wrong. And yeah, you know yeah. that's how we grow. But my four year old does that. Like my four year old <laughs> will do the wrong thing, and I'll be like, Hey, Atlas, don't don't you do that? That's not how you're supposed to be, or that's not how you're supposed to act as a, as a young man. And young man, he's fucking four <laughs> as a small child, and uh, then he'll do the right thing. This is a multi-million dollar company that, as we already laid out, they have um, you know a community manager, which isn't very good at his job. Well, um, well, we'll see. We'll see how much longer they yeah, they have well, that they'll position. Have a, they'll have a new community manager. Um, yeah. and they have like a marketing advisor, I would assume. And like, there's probably more than one person. Like they have people that watch the trends of the market, I would imagine, and decide how things go, how they're going to advertise, how they're going to, sure. um, you know, what games are going to do well in this market, that kind of thing. Um, and they still just drop the ball in a time that every other post, I feel, I feel like anyway, every other post has something to do with the negativity of buy to win or pay to win. And excessive right, right. DLC and premium content that you have to pay for, and uh, yeah, they, there's no excuse in my in in my eyes. There's just no, no excuse. No, I I agree, and it. I have to say, I feel bad for the the genuine people that that work for EA. Oh, they yeah. don't really have a say in it, because it. I always think about this with any developers. Like I'll I'll see like a small game, and it maybe it doesn't look the greatest, or it's not the the most enticing gameplay. But then I see like neg- negative comments on it, and I think about that like that small team of probably like either one person or maybe three. They like yeah. poured their heart and soul into this. Yep. And there's just this one person, like a you know, like you we discovered uh, earlier, an armchair developer that's like, <laughs> oh, you know this 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 shit is terrible. You know the uh, it this looks is awful. The worst what... game ever made. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And and that person is just if they're any if they're anything like me, like that would crush me. Like that—that that would just destroy me to put everything I had into something, and someone would just be like, "Wow, this is garbage!" Like, why did you even bother making this? Yeah, um, it would and not make to say that part of the team very difficult, but I exactly, and it, it's not. Granted, you you have a team of hundreds of people on a game like Battlefront, so I'm sure it's it's not as uh, you probably don't take it as personally. Yeah, like because you're not to say your roles aren't as big, but you have lots of people working on the same things like art and. 3d and animation i don't know you know whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. um yeah, d- yeah. different departments that have multiple people so you probably don't take it as personally but that it just sucks i always i hate hate it on game developers so i wonder if I it's a little it like um you know how when we used to work at gamestop you know obviously gamestop people hate gamestop and someone would come in and say something about gamestop right and yeah. for a time that there's this weird curve that go uh, that happens over time. For a time, you defend it, right? And you're like, no, GameStop isn't all that bad. GameStop is great. They're power of the players and all that <laughs> stuff. But in the back, in your heart of hearts, you're like, I work for a terrible fucking company. <laughs> um, and then like you honestly, get jaded, and you're just like, yeah, I'm just collecting a paycheck. That's all it is. And yeah. I wonder sometimes if game developers, like besides indie developers, I feel like a lot of game developers probably feel that way. Because they're yeah. such a small cog and such a big working machine, or at least guys uh, like, like EA. I could see that, like some place at EA. But you look on the just to kind of throw an example of the other side, Blizzard. I mean, I you see people there all the time just talking about how much they love their job and how how much they they love what they do. And right. I don't know. I I think there's definitely two sides to that coin. Oh, um, but I, I could definitely. I could see EA being that way, unfortunately. Um, but I, I just kind of wanted to make the point that I'm, I'm not trying to shit on the game developers. Yeah. I just, 
I don't think it's a, this is more the, the people that probably aren't directly associated with making the game. These are the, the people making ups. the decisions. Yep. Yep. Um, and I don't know. I, I could be wrong. It, these are all assumptions. I, I don't want to, you know, be a car point. chair quarterback. Yeah. 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 So <laughs> I, I don't know. It, it's just hard. I don't want to, to hit on someone that wasn't directly involved in that decision. Well, you know, so someone I, that's on like the design floor or whatever, they got that call down. Uh, like this is how much each character should be and da 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 and they just looked at him and was like son of a bitch right like yeah. they uh, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know how the public's going to take some of these things especially since most of them are probably gamers themselves 100 percent. yeah like they're probably like i i wouldn't want to do this why mm-hmm. would we put this in our game yeah um so to because I, I think that the the negative feedback was kind of twofold from from what i understand um, so the, the first one, which I think was the major one, was the, the high cost of the, the heroes. Mm-hmm. Um, taking 40 hours to unlock you know, one of the, the higher tier heroes. Which, again, I, I can kind of see both parts to where you need something to unlock, to work towards. I think it's rewarding and it encourages, it, uh, encourages you to play more. But 40 hours for one hero is a little excessive. Um, yeah. So I, I can, that, that's my, my take on that. But the, the second part, which we haven't really touched a whole lot on, are the loot crates. Um, so the loot crates are what you can actually spend your, and this is, I, I believe this is how it works. I don't want to say this is 100% how it is. Okay. Uh, EA testaments. This is, this is what it is in stone. Um, but I, I believe you spend real life money on loot boxes and in the loot boxes, you can get credits and credits are what, uh, you use to buy the, uh, the heroes and other, other things. So all you uh, get from the, loot boxes are credits? Uh, not just that. You also oh, get okay. the um, the star cards, and you also get uh, cosmetics. So the the star cards are different abilities, yeah. and they're they're tiered as well. I believe they're just bronze, silver, and gold. Um, so maybe something gives you like a a, a ther- or like a thermal detonator. So it you know you throw it down and it detonates when someone gets close. Then you have your bronze, silver, and gold, so it does more damage or. Maybe you can, it reduces the cooldown. It, it just gets better better as it goes up. So are there, I'm sorry, can you earn loot crates not using in-game, cur- or not using premium money? Correct. Like I believe you get, I believe you get them when you level up. At least that's how it worked in the beta. Okay. So it's like Overwatch a little bit like that, but you can yeah. also buy them. Correct. So again, similar to the sense in Overwatch, um, except this way you're actually getting multiplayer advantages. Like yeah, you're actually you're getting, getting like abilities. damage increases in cooldowns and abilities, um, and then it even works for the heroes too. So you get you can have like a like a Boba Fett. You can get like a, a gold card for Boba Fett. Um, now this is the the part that changed. So all that was true up until beta, and then after beta, because people were like, you know, people are just buying the the boxes, and then they get these gold tier cards and they just you know they just roll through people right well then they they came back and said all right we're gonna make the gold cards uh achievement exclusive so you actually have to do like end game achievements or you have to do challenges and then that's the only way you can unlock these gold cards so you can't actually get them the game (laughs) they hooked you yeah, it's with those achievements. Sorry, go ahead. I keep interrupting. No, no, no. You're fine. Uh, you, you and Will should do the uh, the family share thing. Split it thirty bucks. I'd be more than happy to. I just need to get a hold of him. Yeah, uh, he'll be back soon. Um, but uh, yeah, that's that's kind of where we were at up until today. To where you got everything from the loot boxes still, except for the gold cards, and you got those from in-game milestones, which I I think is good. Yeah. You're, you're giving the best stuff to the people that are doing in-game challenges. Um, but to, I think the issue they're going to have, because they, they reduce the cost of the heroes, mm-hmm. but I still think what they're going to have an issue with are people idling in the game. So I think my biggest complaint, at least from the beta, is that you don't see, like everyone gets the same amount of point or the same amount of credits at the end of a match, I believe. Oh, no so, matter how much they... Right, it doesn't matter if you were first place or last place. Everyone gets the same amount of points, I believe. Um, or a currency. Or it's either currency or experience. Now now I'm confused as far as what, which it is. But right. re- regardless, whatever it is that you're earning, everyone earns the same amount, which isn't really fair. Because I think what, 
what that's gonna yeah especially you because you're i mean as someone that's a good gamer like you're you're going to yeah exactly and we all know well we we all know how well that works um <laughs> so wow this this got political really quick um <laughs> so i think what they're gonna have happen you're gonna have people that just want to um like earn the credits they don't really want to like sit down and like play it so they're gonna I don't know. I've seen people already come up with scripts as far as like making their character move every like minute or so, so they can't be kicked by the the, the bots. So you're already going to have people come up with that, and I think that kind of shows the the main issue at hand is reducing the cost while it's it's great, and you're making it so people can lock these heroes in around ten hours instead of forty. I mean that's a huge reduction. At the same time, you, you it's more of like a band aid solution. You haven't really fixed the issue at hand. I think you're still going to have a lot of people idling in the games too. And maybe it's not a lot. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the, the gameplay is so good, everyone wants to play it right away. Um, or, or all the time, I should say. And they want to earn these credits. But I don't have that much faith in people. So, <laughs> so I don't know. That's that's my, my take on the, the loot box scenario. Right. Yeah, there there should never be such a thing. Sure. Right. <laughs> Right. Yep. I mean, I, I don't want to say I hope it happens, but it, it's one of those things like, it's almost like you, you want them to learn a lesson. You know what I mean? And I, I, think, they, I think they will see a pretty significant hit with Battlefront 2. Um, I, I still think it's going to, it'll probably get decent reviews. Um, it, it'll probably be enjoyed by the people that buy it. And, but I think there's still going to be that, that decent chunk of people that have already decided, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to fall for EA's tricks this time. I'm just going to cancel my pre-order, and there's plenty of other games coming out right now that I can play. And who knows? Maybe they maybe they keep listening. They, I mean, that's what they posted on Twitter. They're like, you keep talking, we keep listening. Um, we slash the, the price of heroes. Click here to find out more. Yeah, we'll so may, maybe it'll... Who knows? I, I don't want to 
just uh, you know brush them off and say that they, they won't do anything else. I, I think it's it's good that they've listened this far. Yep. I think that they the fact that they, they changed it after beta and after today's post, I think that shows that you know someone is listening. Whether it's, you know, like you said, they got their hand caught in the cookie jar or <laughs> regardless, change happened. Yeah. You know, like, and I think that's the, the important bottom line is we, we got them to, to change it. So I think it's important to keep these conversations going and, um, you know, really make sure we, we get our, our opinions out there. Oh, yeah. And I mean, I'm not trying to be negative and I, I do hope they get uh, they, they do a 180 and what is it 180. Yeah, 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 180. And they, they, I would just love to see these kinds of things go away. Because I think it poisons the gaming community. That being said, I don't, I mean, as long as the almighty dollar runs things, and it 100% does, I think these types of things are going to keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. I just right. don't see and an like, end to it. Kind of like what the, the guy on Reddit said, it, it's like they're, EA is just trying to like push the limit, like how far can they really go? Oh, 100%, 100%. I mean, I you know what I would almost imagine because you know there's some pretty smart dudes I would imagine the work over there. Um, I would almost imagine they said, "Hey, let's do this. It probably won't work, but let's but do let's... this and see if it does work. And if it doesn't work, let's see how we can ma- manipulate this and make ourselves look better at the end of it. And you know, and you know, maybe we can still do it higher than what it was." Because maybe sure. cause 10 hours is still a long amount of time to unlock one character. Oh, sure. I mean, it's just like if you say you call into your phone company and you're, you're, you got an overage and you're requesting to have that, that credit removed or the, the charge removed, right? Yeah. Uh, so maybe the, the rep's like, well, you know, I could do the, the I'm going to do the full amount, but let me start with 50% and see if they take it. And then if they do, cool, I didn't have to give out as much money. But if not, I can just go back and seem like the hero. Be like, you know what? I, I fought for you. I got, I got you the whole one hundred percent of the the charge covered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I feel like I, that's it just kind of came to my head. I don't know, you know, why I picked phone phone carrier, but <laughs> I, know. I can't imagine odd, how that applies. Oddly to Oddly specific at all. there. Uh, um, but yeah, I think I kind of feel like that. If, if that is what truly happened, I mean, that it kind of does make them look like, hey, we're we're listening to our customers when really they're like. Okay, well, we know that didn't work. Let's scale it back a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe that's a very dark and defeatist look at the world. <laughs> <laughs> sure it is. But I just don't have any trust in, like, massive companies like that. I, mean, I, I think yeah, that's... They, yeah, I don't know. Go ahead, sorry. No, no, I, I was just going to say I feel like that's a, a well-placed distrust. Yeah, um, right. Well, the um, the other part is the, uh, the DLC. We also... Um, because they, I remember when they announced Battlefront 2, everyone was super excited. It's going to be, they, um, they said, it's going to be way better than the last one. We listened to you. And again, it was the whole, you know, we listened to your feedback. Um, we're bringing in more heroes, more ships, more uh, of the, diff- we're bringing the sequels back, or the, the prequels back, I mean. Oof. So it, it, it sounded like they, you know, they, they did everything that the people asked for, which yeah. is cool. And then they blew everyone away again. They're like, you know what? We're going to be bringing you the Last Jedi DLC, but it's going to be free. Like, all of our DLC is going to be free. And everyone's like, whoa, what? Who is this? This is an EA. Yeah. Um, but then you find out later, it's like, oh, I actually have to... I don't have to buy the, the DLC, but I have to purchase it with in-game currency or buy the currency with real money. So Wait, you have to buy the DLC with in-game... Or you have to unlock the characters. Correct. I thought yeah, you were so saying, like, the, the, the DLC oh. pack costs credit. I was like, what? <laughs> the, Say that would what? be terrible. You know, that reminds me, actually. Uh, I was dissing on them with Plants vs. Zombies, but the Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, all the DLC for the game was free. Okay, so they all did the same it. thing? And they had, okay. like, new worlds, or maps, rather, and stuff like that. I know that's not a huge AAA title, but, dude, I love Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. It was fun. It's a great I, game. I really enjoyed it. Um, and I... But yeah. I don't know. I'm I'm kind of torn there because it's it's the same thing where like you have to purchase the heroes again. You've got um, they've got Finn and they've got Captain Phasma. I think are the two DLC characters. Um, Yay! I don't know. I'm I'm just. <laughs> no, I, I mean, don't yeah, care about either of those two. It, oh. It'll be cool to have him in the game. I don't know. Yeah. Um, Is Ray in the game? Yes. Yeah, I think she's actually one of the ones that you don't have to unlock. Okay. Like you just get her right All off right. the bat. Because I was a little blown away there for a second if they had Finn, oh, Finn and, and Phasma really. 
And then it's like, but no Ray, just no right. Ray. It's like, wait, I'm, wait, I'm excited because they, I, I feel like this, I hope this is kind of like their, um, kind of their platform game. I feel like a lot of franchises are kind of coming to this to where they, they have like a main game and then they just add on to it. Yeah. Um, kind of like, um, what they do with Street Fighter Five now. Yeah. Um, and I only, I only use that as an example because Trey, Trey talks about how they do it to where that's like their, their baseline game now. There's not going to be a new one for a while. They're just going to keep, you know, editing this one or bringing new characters and maps to it. I mean, it makes but sense. I, Think about how I, much more expensive it is to make a new game. Oh, for sure. And the fact that these games look so good already, yep. it's already 4K optimized. Like, how, do you really need like a Battlefront 3? Just keep adding new maps, new characters. Just keep building on it. And I think everyone would be okay with that i i i I don't know that everyone would be okay with well i would be okay uh, yeah yeah Yeah, but uh i think there's always gonna be some jerk that's like when they coming out with that new battlefront 3 on the xbox 720 right 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 six months from now like oh i I already beat this one i'm ready for the other uh, one now yeah dude uh that's getting into more gamestop nightmares oh yeah i was gonna mention uh that um, I, I forgot to bring it up because I think I got into something else. But you mentioned how it, it's almost like you you can talk crap about GameStop, but no one else can. Yeah, um, yeah. And <laughs> I still feel that way when I do people too. people joke about how um, how trade ins work. Like, oh, I, I just bought this game, and GameStop's only going to give me twenty bucks for it. Like, yeah, wh- what do you expect? They got to like, make you a buy buck. <laughs> Exactly, like you, you buy a car as soon as it you drive it off the lot, like it loses its value. Yeah, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. But then when we're on. together, like how often are we, when we're together we just shit on Xbox, and like oh, for, like, oh my god, or not Xbox, I'm sorry, GameStop. I, I know what you meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, um, I, I get it. There's, it's just like when someone like someone picks on your sibling, and you're like, hell no, like that's not gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can make fun of your sibling, you know. Oh, dude, um, I, yeah, but you torment your sibling. To, yes, I'm right. Very aware of how that works. I was a big brother. <laughs> um, yeah, man, that's so funny how that works. And GameStop is like, there's so much like, I don't know, like brand loyalty or whatever when you're working there, but. GameStop doesn't give a rat's ass about you. It's like I was talking to a, a, a mutual friend of ours. I won't say his name. Sure. Um, just in case it could affect his job or anything like that. And he was talking about going to conference this year. Mm-hmm. And they said, hey, guys, listen. We've, we've listened to you guys. We've listened to the customers. And we've listened to the employees. And we've decided we are going to be open on Thanksgiving this year. Oh, yeah. Yep. I saw that. <laughs> and I was talking to them, and I'm like, you're kidding me. They said that. He goes, yeah. He goes, I just kind of wanted to stand up in the middle of the auditorium and be like, yeah, uh, just quick show of hands. How many of you want to open your stores on Thanksgiving? Because they, right. I had the gall to say we've taught our even our customers and our employees want us to be open. And it's like, no, they don't. No one yep. wants to work on Thanksgiving. And if they do. They're sad, okay? <laughs> Maybe invite them over for dinner or give them right, a bonus right. check or something like that. I don't know. Just just don't make no, everyone I, else work. I remember when I when I saw that announcement, too. I think it was on Kotaku, and I, I texted another ex-GameStop employee right away. I'm like, can you believe this shit? Yes, like, is the answer. Like you said, like, yeah, that's true. I guess I can. It's sad, though, it because, like, years ago they said, we're never going to open on Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. Yep. They said, you know, we're you're a, we're a family-oriented company. <laughs> now we're really getting off track. Yeah, we are um, totally off track. Sorry. I just, we were talking about GameStop, and that got me thinking about that. Oh, yeah. My head is all itchy tonight. Sorry. Um, <sighs> yeah, I, I mean, that, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. I think yeah. you're going to keep seeing this kind of thing. And you're gonna keep seeing people push the limit, and it scares me. But well, I we'll fa- I like, hope it's that like since you said, we have to vote with our money essentially. Like if you don't like something, you don't buy it. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut exactly. You off, by the way, no, no, no. I, I was cutting you off, um, and I didn't mean to. I was just gonna say it. Like you said, it's the you just gotta play like the free market, and if you if you don't support it, don't put your money towards it, and they they will see that effect. And I. I'm hoping, like you said, I, I don't want this to happen again in the future either. Yeah. So I'm hoping that with what happened today, because having the, the most downvoted comment in Reddit history That's is a pretty, pretty big deal. That's um, so bad. I, I hope everyone, EA and all the other developers included, take a note of this and they realize, hey, like we, like we just can't do this 
it, it can't happen again. I will say this. I will say this. You know, there's that saying, no publicity is bad publicity or mm-hmm. something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's all advertising, yeah. essentially. Or it's, uh, it gets people to look at it. I did not realize the game came out this week until until this whole debacle. Really? And I wonder how many people are going to see posts about this and then be like, oh, the game came out. Oh, it's getting some really bad reviews. Oh, my goodness. They, they dropped the thing. Wow, that that's pretty cool, VA. I do want that new Star Wars game. It like it gets hmm. the conversation rolling in their mind, maybe. Yeah. I don't know, man. I it's mean, like I, I said, there are some smart people over there, I would imagine. It could work both ways for sure. Oh, um, yeah. It could I'm, definitely work negatively. I feel like I've seen a lot of I don't I don't watch a whole lot of TV, but in the like in our our like lunch break area, there's a there's TVs in there. Uh-huh. And I feel like every every five minutes there's a battlefront trailer. Yeah. So I, I think they're marketing it heavily, at least on the, the T V side, but who knows? They we'll, should we'll, be. I guess. I mean, yeah. Yeah. We'll we'll see how uh, we'll see how. I'm excited to see what their sales turn out, and ha- once uh, once these reviews get finalized, I'm excited to see uh, what what score they give it. I'm excited to see what score we give it. <laughs> yeah, 100. percent Which apparently are we doing Fam Friday? Is that going to be the game? I think that'd be a good one. God damn it! Okay, I'm buying it. Yes. It doesn't take much to talk me into things. I'm just like, <laughs> all I need is like two people to just go, hey, Zach, we're getting this game. And I'm like, okay, I'll get it too. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> What's that? What's that? Hannah Montana's dance off. Absolutely. I Let's just, do I just, it. I like playing games with my friends, I guess. Right. It's all about the community, man. And the achievements. And the achievements, yeah. That's right. Yeah, we'll have to, we'll unlock some of those this Friday. Maybe we can just go on an achievement run and get some of those gold cards. Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. But yeah, I think that's a that's a good place to wrap it up. I, I think we've said we've said said our part and given some some ways that they could better it. So I, I think we've covered every every inch of that that we can. Yeah. Um, but I, I appreciate you guys tuning in for another week of Famcast. Um, as always, make sure you uh, subscribe to us on iTunes, Google, and YouTube if you uh, want to hear us every Monday at one p.m. And you can also leave us a review or a comment if you uh, have some suggestions as far as what you'd like us to talk about in the future. And also make sure you check us out on Twitch. We stream every night of the week on twitch.tv slash forallmankind. Got a different person on there every couple of days, so you're always going to see a new face um, in the fam. Uh, not like a new stranger. We don't bring strangers on. <laughs> we just kidnap That's them. weird. We just kidnap right, we just, them at the mall and then like, play games! <laughs> hey, do, do you want to play games? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Also check out our socials. We've always uh, got updates on our socials as far as who's going to be playing, what they're going to be playing. So make sure you stay uh, posted on that, too. Uh, but until next week, we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.